As courts nationwide have repeatedly rejected baseless efforts by President Trump and his allies to overturn the results of the election, the president is now pinning his hopes on a long-shot lawsuit filed directly to the Supreme Court. See what happens. We have tremendous cases right now, a big, big case. The president referring to a lawsuit filed by pro-Trump Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, claiming four key swing states, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, and Wisconsin, improperly changed their election rules and therefore should not certify their results. President Trump lost all four states, while all 50 states have already certified their elections ahead of the Electoral College vote next Monday. Georgia's Republican Lieutenant Governor arguing his state's election was fair and legal. It's hard to go down this road of, of just believing mountains of misinformation, of, of, of supporting mountains of misinformation, and also in the same breath support democracy. Uh, they just don't line up with each other. Of the dozens of lawsuits filed so far by President Trump and his supporters, at least 45 have been dismissed by courts across the country, citing a lack of evidence. Still, the president and 17 Republican state attorneys general are now asking to sign on to the Texas case, which the Supreme Court has not yet indicated it will even consider. Texas AG Paxton, who's under federal criminal investigation for alleged bribery and abuse of his office, having lunch with the president and 11 other AGs today in what the White House called a pre-planned meeting. Meantime, Trump is demanding GOP members in Congress add their names to a list showing support for this latest legal effort at the Supreme Court to make him president. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy not signing the list, but saying he supports the president's right to take the case to court. The president has a right for every legal challenge to be heard. He has a right to go to the Supreme Court with it, yes. The four swing states sued by Texas responding in a scathing rebuttal today, asking the Supreme Court to swiftly reject the case and calling it a seditious abuse of judicial process. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.